your eyes and would also be the love for baking. I got my strength and my love for all things sweet and sugary from my mom. Uh, the whole family. I love mommy a lot. I got your blue eyes, your awesome personality and your love for music. My thick brown hair that I have to cut every two weeks. Thank you. I got my passion for people and my love for reading from my mama. I love my brain plasters on my knees. Her heart, her kindness, um, her heart for others, caring and kindness towards others that are really a lot less fortunate. I got my big heart, raw sense of humour, a sense of spontaneity from my mama. Happy Mother's Day, Mum. Happy Mother's Day. My stubbornness, a few other personality traits along that line. None of it bad though, all of it good. Um, I love to cook, eat and keep the kitchen clean. I got my awesome good looks and great sense of humour from my mom. Our good looks. Our ability to read books. I got my calves, I got my hair, and I got my tears from my mama. I got these looks from my mom, as well as her inner strength. I got it from my mama. I got her loving, caring nature. A discernment, compassion, and forgiveness. Thank you for everything you've done for me, and thank you for blessing me with this wonderful nose. <laughs> I got my servant's heart and my love for a good mystery from my mom. Oh yes, and mom, I got your childbearing hips. Thank you. <laughs> I got my hands and feet and creativity from my mama. Thanks to my mom, I have a passion for cooking and I'm very stubborn. <laughs> happy Mother's Day, mom. Happy Mother's Day, mom. Uh, happy Mother's Day, I just want to say, um, mom, I love you and I'm so grateful for you. Happy Mother's Day, mom. Oh, happy Mother's Day. Love you, mom. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mama's Day! Oh, no. I love you lots, Mom. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. I'm so blessed to have you. I love you so much. I got it, got it. I got it, got it. Love my mama. Good morning everyone, it is Sunday fun day and we are so glad that you're able to join us today online but today is a very special day and who can tell me why? Yes, it is Mother's Day. So a big shout out to all us car kids, mamas and grannies and aunties. We love you guys and we value you. Thank you for everything that you do for us, always going above and beyond. Today we're starting with the next part of our series, all about hope. So let's get ready for an awesome time together, get up off the couch, and I'm gonna hand over to the rest of the team. Hello, Sky Kids. I hope you guys are having an awesome day so far, and it is only going to get better, I promise you that. So, what we're gonna do now is we're all gonna stand up to our feet, and what, can you, what do you guys think we're gonna do? That's right, we're all gonna worship, so. I want you guys to stand up. Parents, if you're watching, you guys can get involved too. And let's have an awesome time worshiping God because that's what he deserves from us. So you guys ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Everything you say Turn the 
is up Sky Kids? I hope you are doing so good. Today's lesson, we are going to be looking at why we can put our hope in God because we can count on Him and because He cares about us. We're going to quickly watch a video that explains this a little bit more. At the time that Jesus lived, He became quite famous in the area. He was a very good teacher and talked about things like being kind to people and loving one another. And soon he begins to talk about worry and tells them this parable. I tell you, do not worry. Don't worry about your life or what you will eat or drink. And don't worry about your body and what you will wear. Isn't there more to life than eating? Aren't there more important things for the body than clothes? Look at the birds of the air. They don't plant or gather crops, but your Father who is in heaven feeds them. Aren't you worth much more than they are? Can you even add one hour to your life by worrying? Jesus knows that nobody has to learn how to worry. There are no classes at school that you can take that will sit you down and teach you the different steps to help you worry better. It comes naturally to all of us. Jesus realizes that all of us can worry without much help and he carries on. And why do you worry about clothes? See how the wildflowers grow? They don't work or make clothing, but here is what I tell you, not even Solomon in all of his glory was dressed like one of those flowers. If that is how God dresses the wild grass, won't he dress you even better? After all, the grass is only here today. Tomorrow, it's thrown into the fire. Your faith is so small. King Solomon is known as the wisest and possibly richest man that has ever lived. But here Jesus explains that even a little flower created by God is more beautiful and magnificent. Jesus continues, so don't worry. Don't say, what will we eat? Or what will we drink? Or what will we wear? People who are ungodly run after all of those things. Your Father who is in heaven knows that you need them. But put God's kingdom first. Do what He wants you to do. Then all of those things will also be given to you. So don't worry about tomorrow. You probably don't remember being born. You probably don't remember when you needed to eat. You probably never worried about it either. Maybe that's what it's like not to worry. Maybe we should act like newborns, knowing that we'll be looked after by our Heavenly Father. Our hope is in God and we can always count on Him. I love that story. I love how God takes care of the birds and dresses the flowers. Isn't it awesome to know that He cares about us even more than that? I want to give you a few points about why we don't need to worry and why we can put our hope in God. Firstly, God is the one who is in control. And just like He takes care of the birds and the flowers, He takes care of us and He will take care of all of our needs and desires. Secondly, He has a plan and a purpose for your life. You are not a mistake. Sometimes we can worry about what the future will be like, but we can put our hope in God and know that He already has it all planned out for us. And lastly, I want to ask you, where are you putting your hope? Sometimes it's easy to put our hope in things we are good at, like a sport or a hobby, or even our parents. But the only sure place to put our hope is in God, because He is the one who takes care of it all. Hope is believing for the best outcome, even when the circumstances don't look good. Awesome guys, I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. And I want you to remember that we can put our hope in God because He cares about us so, so much. Hey Scar Kids, it is so awesome to be with you again today. And we're learning a new memory verse. I'm super excited to share it with you. It's really easy and I think you'll catch on quickly. Okay, so it goes like this. We have this hope as an anchor for our souls, firm and secure. All right, now would you like to try it with me? Let's do this. 
Okay, so it goes like this. We have this hope as an anchor for our souls, firm and secure. Awesome guys, I'm sure you'll get it super well and so excited to see some videos of how you guys have done it. That's amazing. I absolutely love our memory verse for the next three weeks. It also says in Jeremiah 29 verse 11, for I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Sky Kids, your future is hopeful, your future is bright, and God promises that when we seek Him with our whole hearts, that He takes care of every single detail in our lives. We don't need to worry, all we need to do is put our hope and our trust in Jesus. He is the anchor that we need no matter what we face. And even in this time, we don't know what tomorrow is going to bring and what tomorrow is going to look like. But God says that He is always with us and that He never makes mistakes. He is always around us and He always goes before us to make a way. So today, I hope that mom's going to have a very special day for the rest of the time. And we've got some special activities for you guys to do to spoil her some more. And I hope that you guys have a great week. We're praying for you. We love you guys. We miss you so, so much. But we know that God has got a plan and that he is looking after us and after every single one of you guys. So we love you. Have an awesome week. We'll see you next time. Bye.